I don't know what the cause of this is. If it was because I was like saying this behind the camera, I would set out of frustration. Yeah, we're done. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm good to go. This. Can we just talk for a second? I really need to run this. Yeah, yeah right. no, with me. It's too hot. You know, call you then. I don't, I don't give a. F what am I gonna sit here and beg with? Right. No, I don't care. Right. Now this morning when I woke up, it was a pretty good day. I woke up with a V12 engine on my face. You're probably confused. It was Optimus Prime's butt in my face, but it hasn't been very good for the kick streamers for the past 24 hours, especially Jack Doherty after he got permanently banned for crashing his McLaren because his McLaren was just too ashamed to be driven by Jack Doherty. So he decided to end it once and for all. And for today's video, we're going to talk about Neon, how he lost everything after his whole crew decided to walk out on him because they were just tired of his shit. Now, to give you a little bit of recap, Neon started the submarathon at the 1st of October, streaming for 24 hours a day, going full in, full of entertainment for the next 30 days. And after day five, shit fell apart. And the idea of the stream came after FaZe Clan decided to do a submarathon for 30 days, deciding to see how much subs they can get streaming 24 hours a day for the next 30 days, and they raised up to $12 million. And Neon, after seeing dollar signs, he decided to do the same thing, but one thing he failed to realize is you actually have to be entertaining. You cannot sit in front of the camera and go, chat, chat, what should we do, chat, chat? And what does the internet love nowadays more than anything? Drama, juicy, juicy drama. So he decided to bring six girls and six boys let them all go against each other, trash talk each other, create drama, create scenes, and Neon sits at the back and says W's in the chat, W. Now let me introduce you to the contestants over here. First of all, we have Neon, we have, you know, Garlic the Destroyer who decided to join us for this whole entertainment of the 30 day sub marathon. Then we have a very talented person who walked in the room as well with full of talent, talent everywhere. As you can see, this guy over here is appreciating the talent. We also had the pleasure to see Ice Spice in Neon's stream. Look, this is what y'all want to see, right? Look who it is. Ice Spice. And, and who else? And who? And Tyson May. But yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is Ice Spice from Timu. We're not going to get into the whole details of this whole thing. It's pretty sad and boring just watching them trying to create an entertainment for the next 30 days. It's pathetic. You, you want to just sit there in the I corner and like look pretty? I'm confused. Like you have to yeah, do something for content. I want to look pretty. I'm not only fans. Go look pretty on the corner of some <laughs> street then. Because we're not here to give you money. You're here to be on stream. I know that. So then why are you being rude to him? That's not okay, funny. Okay, well, I don't like him. I would rather sit and watch Borderland for the next two hours or even Joker. Not gonna lie, the only entertainment in this whole thing out of the clips that I saw was someone told Garlic the Destroyer, you are one cheeseburger away from a heart attack. And Garlic Destroyer, he... She, he she, she, they they started crying. Now the only people who hate themselves more than the McLaren hated himself for having Jack Doherty drive him and customize him was the camera crew of Neon sitting and watching absolute idiots making fool of themselves on stream had to be torture. But they were getting a huge chunk of money. According to Neon, he paid a million dollars to the camera crew, but he only paid half of it up front. But the majority of the crew were just so sick of watching these kids talk shit and absolutely do nothing inside the stream so they decided to pack things up even though they've been paid i guess they got tortured for like five days and after five days they decided to you know what decided to pack up the crew get the cameras and just walk out and neon was left with his dick in his hand and just a samsung phone and just very annoying and unentertaining people around them Sorry guys. See ya. I don't know what the cause of this is. If it was because I was like saying the shit behind the camera, I would have said out of frustration. Yeah, we're done. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm good to go. Yeah, it looks like a month. Uh, it's good to go too. Can we just talk for a second? I really need to run this. Yeah, yeah right. no with me. It's too hot. You know, fuck all you then. I don't, I don't give a f What am I going to sit here and beg with a f No, fuck you. I don't care. Fuck you. Fuck you. How'd it go? And this is the part where Neon absolutely lost it after 
failing at day five and decided to let the beast out. Now, obviously, the crew got paid, you know, $500,000. That's half of the money they were owed. They got paid for it, and obviously, they have to finish up the job, but I don't judge them in this situation. Spending the next 30 days of your life listening to these kids, it is worse than torture. No amount of money can make me be part of that camera crew and listen to these kids just walking around and talking shit to each other for the same amount of money i'd rather be put in a room for a month playing taylor swift songs in a shuffle and after he spent all his money because i believe that was his everything he just put in the risk and he thought he's going to double or triple with this investment that he's doing this sub marathon what does he do after he has no more money left to hire camera crew members he calls his one and only uncle aiden ross i paid these motherfuckers a million dollars but i didn't pay it all up front i think i've had I mean, yeah, I could, I could do some digging for you, bro. Um, oh, God, I, to it. oh, God, I appreciate you, bro, actually. What else do you need, man? I heard this house is falling apart. It's like a fucking earthquake. You got to tell me what you need, man. I, I'll try to get some, some some reinforcements over, but you got to let me know what else. I need, I, need, I need more bitches. I need less fat people. I don't know. It's just bad, bro. We have no cameras anymore. I'm seeing like 50 fucking... Actually, I can't see that. Sorry, shut up. But it's just, it's bad, bro. It's a tell. Now, Uncle Aiden decided to help out Neon for his submarathon stream because he is a part owner. He has a big share on Kick and he doesn't want to see, you know, Twitch did it for 30 days. They don't want to see Kick fail. And at the same time, they've been friends before, even though they had a lot of beef between each other. He decided to help him out in this situation. And also, I want to talk about the people who watch this whole thing live for like 24 hours a day. You don't have anything better to do? I decided to go and see how many people are actually watching live at like you know 5 6 p.m it has 8,000 people watching this nonsense what is this happening it is literally the sun is still out what are they doing they're trying to push each other oh i don't want to be in camera you be in camera oh you be in camera i was entertaining everyone for the past hour now it's your turn until you know everyone else wakes up they start talking or something be useful Jeez, you know doing, bro. i was literally up for an hour straight just cracking jokes and like like, I thought I was coming to horror shit. Now, I kind of feel so bad on how horrible this whole live stream and boring it is. I wanted to hop in and just do some breakdancing, yap, and entertain people. Shit is boring as hell. There's no way that 8,000 people are watching this. And I told myself, there's absolutely no way that 8,000 people are watching this stream. Even when the main host, Neon, which is, you know, streaming on his account, he's not even there. And usually the reason people stay around these type of streams nowadays is... Because of the girls, the OnlyFans girls or just random girls, they bring on stream and everyone just engages. Because in 2024, we have a lot of horny donkeys. And there's this video as well where this guy took from the chat. Everyone is doing the same emoji. Everyone has some random ass names with literally nothing happening on the stream. Even Optimus Prime with a peanut brain, absolutely zero brain cells. He knows that this whole thing is just full of bots. There is no actual live viewers maybe 10, 5, 10% of it. And when, you know, people see that the stream has like 10,000 viewers or even six, seven or eight, they're going to click on it because they assume it's something interesting. That is how kick streamers nowadays and even Twitch streamers are promoting themselves. It's a very sad day to be Jack Duarte and Neon after Jack crashes his shit, lost. And, and now Aiden Ross is claiming if you want to get unbanned, you need to pay $300,000 because of a beef that they have with each other. And now Neon being so entertaining that this camera crew leaving a lot of people even leaving his stream and all the engaged people he has on his chat is just live bots it's a very sad day for them i wish them the absolute worst anyways just wanted to talk about this and update you with this whole thing as usual let me know your thoughts in the comments below take it easy oh yes bro is chilling take it easy i'll catch you at the next one